evaluate the definite integral of theta cubed cosine of theta squared as theta goes from root pi over 2 to root pi. All right. Well, I see, looking at my integrand, there's a clear inside function here. That's theta squared. Now, its derivative is not exactly there, or is it? Let's rewrite this integrand. Let's rewrite this thing. This can be thought of as theta squared cosine of theta squared times theta d theta. I just broke off one of those thetas. And now look, if I do a substitution for theta squared, theta d theta will be there. And this will also, the other theta squared will also be replaced with my variable. Okay, so let's let t be theta squared. And dt is 2 theta d theta. So 1 half dt equals theta d theta. And therefore, the definite integral in question theta d theta becomes, okay, we have theta squared is t, so this is t, cosine of t, theta d theta becomes one half dt, and my limits of integration are just pi over 2 to pi. When theta is root pi over 2, we square that, we just get pi over 2, and likewise for root pi, it becomes pi. All right, so here is the definite integral I'd like to work on. Only now I'm going to use integration by parts. So I'm going to let u identify with something, or identify u with something and identify dv. Let's see, u, something that's easy to take the derivative of. That's t, cosine of t, dt. So du is just dt, and v is just sine of t. So this definite integral becomes one-half times uv, so t sine of t, from pi over 2 to pi, okay, minus the integral from pi over 2 to pi of v du, sine of t, dt. Okay, so this is one-half times, let's see, I evaluate at pi, so pi sine of pi minus pi over 2 sine of pi over 2 minus the antiderivative of sine is what? Negative cosine, so it becomes positive cosine of t evaluated at endpoints. Okay. Let's see, sine of pi is zero, so this is just zero. One half sine of pi over two is one, so this is negative pi over four. Okay, negative pi over four plus one half. Now what's cosine of pi over two? Cosine of pi is the upper limit of integration. Okay. Cosine of pi is negative 1 minus cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Okay, and so if I work this out, I get negative 1 half minus pi over 4. Okay, distributing that 1 half. Do not forget that this 1 half here comes from distributing one-half across all of this. That one-half came from our substitution at the beginning of the problem. Negative one-half minus pi over four is the answer for our definite 